when you consider to purchase a new car, you actually look at the aesthetics, at the design of the new car. But after having purchased the car, you're spending most of your time inside. So today we have with us Jochen, who will tell you about the challenges he had while designing the vehicle. For the i20, our plan was to really make the best interior we could. To make a spacious interior, you have to find a good relationship to the exterior. In this car, we moved the A-pillars forward to create a spacious impression on the front seat. We moved the C-pillar in the perfect position to have some really nice shoulders for the stands of the car, but as well to create space on the rear seats. The third point that is really important is the height of the roof. So if you sit in the rear seat, you want to have space above your head, and this is what we did. We moved the roof a little bit upward. One of the other big issues is leg room, of course, in a car. To demonstrate that, we got Big Billy. So now that we got you into the car, how does it feel for a tall person like you? Yeah, it's really great. I've got lots of space. It's really comfortable. Cool. So the things we did actually work. We lowered the edge point so you get more space on the top. We thinned out the header to create additional space and we moved forward the lower of the IP to, so you have more leg room. So you can actually move the seat much further down than in other cars and much further up. So for a tall guy like you, you have much more space on your head. So now that we talked about the front seat row, let's see what we can get in the back seat row. Let's prove that this is a true five-seater. Now how does it feel in the back seat? Yeah, yeah pretty good. good. There you have it, the new generation i20. Bigger in the inside than you'd expect. You can come out now, guys.